Hey, what's up, guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys a pretty cool move. Now, this is the fancy false cut. So, this is definitely something that I do a lot in my videos. Um, this is probably my number one false cut out there. I think it's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice flourish. Um, so, it's definitely something that uh, we are going to learn today. And I definitely think that this is something you guys are going to want to learn. Uh, I used to get comments all the time, like I said, um, you know, basically, how do you do that false cut, all that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to be teaching it to you guys today. And it is called the fancy false cut for a reason because it is kind of fancy. It's pretty quick, uh, but it is really, really cool. There's a lot going on at the same time. Uh, so we're going to learn that one today, okay? So definitely I would say mix in some flourishes, mix in some false cuts into your routines. It's definitely going to, it's going to give you that wow factor, give you that, you know, a little bit of an edge over everybody else. So this is what the false cut's going to look like. Okay, so that is the overall false cut. Once again, this is the false cut. So that is it. Uh, it's a pretty quick false cut, uh, but there's a lot going on at the same time, and it's definitely eye-pleasing in my opinion. I definitely think it's pretty cool. So, what are you going to need to know to be able to accomplish this false cut? A couple things. Well, one, you're going to need to know a swing cut. Uh, so, if you don't know what a swing cut is, really all I'm holding, uh, I'm holding the deck in this grip right here where I got my middle and ring finger right on the edge, as well as my thumb on the edge right here, and my index finger is free to move as well as my pinky, okay? Now, this is all that's really the swing cut. You're just using your index finger to lift up a portion swing it over and that's essentially the swing cut now you might want to know the swivel cut i don't actually typically use the swivel cut because i think it slows down the false cut a little bit but you definitely can use the swivel cut uh so if you don't know a swivel cut that is the swivel cut right there um so if you wanted to use the swivel which is really basically the same idea same principle but you're going to lift up and sort of use your other index finger to swivel it off your two index fingers like that twist it around and that is the swivel. And you're also going to need to know the one-handed Charlier cut. So if you don't know how to do this, uh, basically you're going to go in this grip right here where you're going to have your middle finger and your ring finger on one edge, your thumb on the other, your index, and then your pinky. And really all that's happening here is I'm lifting up with my thumb, dropping that down by letting my index finger fall. Use my index finger underneath this packet to push up just like that. This is going to fall down and then you complete the cut just like that. So the, if you don't know how to do the Charlier cut, uh, you can definitely look up tutorials or you can let us know in the comment section if you guys want a tutorial, a deeper tutorial on that at least. So how are we going to run into this sort of false cut? So what you're going to do here is you're going to swivel off um, or not swivel off, swing off about a third of the cards. It doesn't matter how many cards. You don't want to go too many, but about a third uh, will do the job. A third of the cards. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to swivel another third. But you're going to leave this little break down here. So I'm going to push it off with my thumb just like that, leaving this little break. So once again, I'm going to sw uh, swing off. Okay. Swing off another. Use my thumb here to pull it off, leaving this little break down here. And then this final packet is going to get set right here. So really all I did was sort of reverse the order of the cards. So this here, this packet up top is technically the bottom packet. This is the middle packet. And this was technically down here, the top packet. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my thumb and I'm going to use my thumb to swivel out. So I'm going to swivel this out and you'll notice here what's happening is it's going to be rotating on your middle finger. So you can see it's kind of gliding on my middle finger there. And as you take it out, you're going to grab it just like this. Okay, this is how I like to grab it. So I like my two, um, my pinky and my ring finger out like this. And I just like to hold the cards just like this with my index finger, middle finger. And now keep in mind, I'm still holding this break here, okay? So that's important to note that I'm still keeping that break. Now, once you're here, what you're gonna what's going to happen is you're going to turn this face up just like this. So you're turning it towards you, okay? And what's happening is you're going to do um, half a Charlier. Once you get to this point in the Charlier, what happens is you're once you're in this position, so once again you were here, now you go like this, you're going to drop that and then close the Charlier, okay? So in fast motion, really what's happening is this. Okay, so that's really what's going on. Now let's delve in a little bit deeper again. So what's gonna happen here, you're gonna swing off, swing off, set just like that. So that's your setup, we all know that. What you're gonna do here is you're going to keep pressure with your thumb um, for a reason, because you wanna maintain this break after this packet comes out, okay? So that break needs to be kept. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take your middle finger right here, swivel out, grab it just like this, turn it up 
okay? And you can use your um, ring finger to support it if you turn it up like that. I still have this here. I'm going to drop that bottom packet, pull it up, toss that in, and close that up, okay? Um, so that's important to know. So that is really all it is to this fancy false cut. Now you can sort of mix it up a little bit by swinging off and doing a swivel just like that and doing the same routine, but um, it's really up to you guys what you want to do. So once again, for that, you would just do the same idea, but the middle packet gets swiveled up here. Set that down, same thing. You're gonna use your middle finger, wh whiffle that out basically, and you're gonna turn it up just like this. You're going to do half a charlier. So once you get to this little temp position, you dump that on and then you close up the charlier and that's 100% false. I'll show you here just like this. So that is 100% false. That is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, just a little quick tutorial there on the fancy false cut. Hope you guys enjoyed it and this is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.